Hello, and welcome to this video where I want to compare four different AI art generation um, services. And uh, one is will be DALI E2, another one will be Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, and Disk Diffusion. So we'll see uh, what they can provide, how the interface access, and most important, we'll look also how the text promise work and what they all can give to us how close they can be to the text, what we describe. So let's go ahead and start with a DALI 2. And uh, DALI 2, it's a service that you actually need to get invitation. You need to apply, wait for about month to months. And when available, they will send you invitation. You can join it. When you join DALI 2, you will have it 50 credits. They can use it to render uh, text prompt to the images AI generated. Each prompt will provide four images and then it's consume about one credit. So technically you can create about 200 images with uh, only four per each variation image. The, you can also can buy credits now additional, which is cost about $15 for 115 credits, I think. Then is, you can all use it. And if you run out, you can purchase more if you need it. Uh, Next is let's look on UI. So overall, a DALI 2 UI is very primitive. When you first join, you can see you come up kind of like a community feed. I don't know how they select these images, but generally you can preview what other people was created, what prompt they did it. And you have options where you can type in your prompt, click generate it or upload image if you want it and I'll check in a second show you and you can go from that point when you do create you will have the page with the, all these versions whatever you create on your right side and as you select it in the main window you can preview uh, you can click on an image to make its maximum it is uh, 1024 by 1024 and this is maximum size you can render uh, some limitation applied to this. You cannot specify how much details you want it or steps can process. So it's have it some already predefined for you. You just can type, click, and it's render. So this is simplicity is very nice, but again, it is a limitation to some creators on how much details you want process. Um, for me, the biggest minus is in all this interface. Again, I just put text. I cannot specify ratio and it's always will come with a square square. So I cannot do uh, panoramic or portrait mode. I cannot specify that. I will need it after crop if I want to do this, which is not always will work very well as well. I cannot really go and sort through images I created through the tags and so on. And if I accidentally click new, it will erase all of my images. I did not find a way other ones to access. I wish it was a little bit more organized and created like, for example, in mid journey or other areas. Um, beside all this web interface, you also have a community that you can access through the um, Discord. And you can notice that some channels here, they can ask people, they're very helpful, um, will give you a suggestion on text prompt and so on. So you have it access to the support and to the community through the Discord as well. But you cannot render at the Discord like you do in some other services. Uh, we'll come back here when we start comparing our text string and looking. Before we jump over, I want to say that for me, what is make stand out in the DALI E as an interface, not as a render, as an interface, it is options that you can go inside the image and you can also just edit this image. So if you don't like something, you can erase and create a permutation with removing that specific element that you don't like it. So this is to me, it's kind of nice options to have this as well. Uploaded images. Um, it's much easier to use and upload images for generation in the DALI E, not in the, some other services. So some kind of plus and minuses, how I say it is in this area, but overall interface is very primitive, but it's simple to use. So let's go next. We're going in the, um, discord, uh, in discord and specifically we're going to work with the mid journey. Mid journey, it was by invitation and recently they open to anybody. So anyone can go join it. 
And I have several videos. So you can have exactly step by step how to create even an account with Discord, how to create an account with uh, Midjourney, how to do all the stuff. It's exactly step by step. If you're interested, links will provide below to those videos and you can go check them out if you're interested. So when you join this, uh, the mid journey, many people get confused because you get dropped into this uh, very noisy um, Discord community and noisy because a lot of people here and they generate it. And you notice um, I'm here, so I don't have it the newbie. When you new or trial, you will have it additional channels for the news. You can go there and modify it. Well, kind of work with people. Um, uh, let me see. Maybe I have it right here. New. Nope. I have just general ones. Oh, right here. Seven, three new. So let's go ahead. And when you go inside the new channel, you'll notice problem with this. People start typing prompt. They're creating nonstop. So your stuff starts scrolling up and up and you can easy to last the way you can access. Of course, it's going to the inbox, select the mentions. And from there, you can access the area where you can see uh, messages but it will go through all your channels not just one specifically and that is a problem uh, how to find however they address this very well in a few different areas one when you become the purchase action when you subscribe to this you will have options to go to your mid journey boat right click and go message and this is ability to give you to access your private channel so nobody else will type in no scrolling nothing else and it's very very good actually so you can access and you come back at any time and you can see nothing is there uh, disappearing or scrolling up this is a huge plus beside that recently they also introduced that you can invite me journey bot to your discord channel for example right here i create geek at play server and i invite some people that come and you can see we can share new people coming we can type and it's very nice because it's create your small community there you can work on specific projects or um you can share the knowledge and other stuff which is very nice but this is one side of the mid journey another one big side and i wish the uh dali e have that it's app so if you're going to mid journey app you will getting inside your area if you on a trial you'll have some limited access like bookmarking and so on but if you are a subscriber you have a huge variation and tool very beautifully done that you can actually use it one first you can see right here when i access it have all access to my images that i created i can search through them and best parts of course i can go inside I can save them, I can preview prompt, and by the way, I can do this not just on my images, I can do this on community images. If I'm interested what prompt was used, okay, um, I have it all these options, access, and I can bookmark, set like, not like, so I can sort and archive. Beside that, you can see it's a save those tags, I can access by tags, or I can even in mind go and search, um, Let's go search for SpongeBob. So then you can see right here, I can search for my images that I created and access them based on the prompt, which is very, very useful, very easy to find. And they're in one area, one collections. Um, beside that, you have your community feed similar somewhat when you're going with Dala, except this one is loading and it's monitoring based on what people like it. Where is the new top marking and so on notice also you have it options to have it bookmark this if you like it or follow specific creator so you can have it your feed where you can follow to specific creator you can have it your bookmarks where you can go and just book bookmark some images you're interested so you can come back after and maybe learn how prompt how other people does so it's kind of nice and you have additional optional tools for you that help you to create properly prompt like for example dictionary for the word and styles so you can use it and so on um, as a service if you have it with a dali e pay service where you have it 15 dollars per credit purchase with a mid journey you actually uh, have different plans that you can join and the plans will charge you per monthly uh, it will notify you can cancel at any time you even can subscribe and cancel so you don't accidentally start charging next month if you don't want it very easy to use um and they have it multiple plans like ten dollars about 200 images how i say it is 
little bit different how they're working because they're working with the GPU time you consume and upscale high details will take more GPU time and smaller take almost no GPU time. So it's kind of say it's in the end, but equal, but the best plan what have it so far, it's this $30, which apply the unlimited personal use that you can use the relax mode, which is does not count against your GPU time. When you can pre-render somewhat 1024 by 1000, same like Dali E, you can render those images for free. And uh, you can render highest images about 2048 by 2048 when it's go against your GPU time. And notice it is much larger resolution than any other services can provide. So more larger resolution, it's not just a bigger image, it's a more details, more cycles was producing. And you can see definitely a big difference when you start rendering on higher scale. So how say um, interface, it's definitely much better than with DALI E and any other services as you see it. I think it's uh, if you working as an artist, concept artist, everything, it's a hands down a mid journey provide the best interface, the easy going through and creating as well as higher resolution and plus beside that different ratio. So if you need it, you can create uh, portraits, you can have it create a landscape image, whatever you like it, or weird formats, it does support it. And we'll look on the text string a little bit later when we come back to all of them. So let's go on next. I want to look at his, um, the stable diffusion. Stable diffusion, it's very interesting type of animal because it is, um, a in the future, they want to provide free version so you can run on your own GPU at home, which is a huge plus. It's meaning you don't need to pay service fees. So hopefully eventually you can run on your machine. Currently it's closed beta, invite only by invitation, and they don't charge any money to produce. They, I do like how they handle requests because after you put requests, you have a timeout, uh, like minute, I think, or so on. So you cannot just spam, spam, spam with requests. And uh, same like in other ones with uh, Mid Journey, you can specify different ratio for this one. You can specify different resolutions. You have a little bit more flexibility versus what you have it with Dali E. I think all the rest of them have it much more flexibility. And um, the only the bad stuff about his it is in a beta. So a lot of stuff is not there. It's kind of harder to use because you need to go to the documentation preview. And um, when you render, you can render only up to 124 by 1024 by 1024. So it's a less resolution than other ones. Uh, and you render in all this room. So you select room, you're going sites that render. And the problem with this, of course, the people, another one stop rendering and it, your job can be last only way you can easy access if you go inside inbox go on mentions and right here you can see you can just scroll down and find when it's uh, created for you so this is another way to access overall i think it's got a huge room to grow um we'll copy text prompt it will be our in the second half we're going through all of them and see who does what but overall it is have some interface but not uh as good as other ones and now we're going to the next one is copy uh, is a disk diffusion which using notepads and currently i'm running on a collab from the on a google what is happening it's like one huge program okay um you download it people share notebooks currently this is five six uh, one i'm running and uh, from all of them that this one probably the hardest to use and it's very geeky thing so a lot of stuff to put it in and if you are not so they probably it is will be the hardest of them to use the only reason if you want to use because it will be free um what is meaning you can um set up your pad and run however you'll notice it is a lot of code a lot of settings here to create and tell you true it's not necessarily render as fast it's take quite a bit time to render long time the the only the i see the big plus on this it is somewhat free and it is uh, allowed you to if you like uh, tinker with all these different settings it's allowed you to do this 
with your own and keep it very private. So it's only reason I see this. And uh, one big plus compared to all of them, in this way, you can actually render animations here. So with the Disco Diffusion on Google, you can set. And I created some animations. I'll put a link below for you to check out with this specific Disco Diffusions. And it took me a couple weeks. It's take a long time to render that animation because remember we're rendering in this case, it was 12 frames per second. It's not fast, but it's still you need to render quite a bit, a lot of, lot of frames. And when you finish render frames, it will save on your Google Drive if you connect to this. And you can see right here, I have a lot of different frames was render. So after this, I need to just go back, run to put this in a video and it's kind of assemble them together. Right here is my video that I created, but you can see it's need render over and over and over all those images, but it is the make unique from other ones that you could make your animations in a disk diffusion when you run this way. Okay. So that is kind of overview. And by the way, this is have it almost all interface what you wanted with disk diffusion. It's what you see, you have parameters, you have your code. If you want preview, what is done on the end. Um, your text string, you just go around and press, uh, put it right there. And when it's diffuse, it just showing your image on the bottom. Of course, N will also save on your Google Drive. It's realistically, uh, technically, it's not that hard to use because all what you need to do, it is um, just run setup and it's easy. Just click on a button setup change some parameters. I found a few videos online. If you're interested, that is not bad. Usually you just need to change parameter. Where do you want to save? Um, just maybe change what height with the resolution you want to use it and uh, go through the step, each step at one time, click in, in change prompt, text prompt, and it's done deal. So it will start rendering. Um, I did find sometimes problem when I have a different images that I needed reset container or so on, but it's very much more related to the technical problems and they actually can be resolved is not bad at all. Um, the only things, okay, yeah, right here, I have some problem. I think it's the keyframe was disabled. So I need to enable because animation is enabled it. And let's run the animation again. So there you go. So that is solved. And of course, when you're done with this, settings you can go ahead and start diffuse so what i call diffuse the work and you'll see it image render i won't show you the how it's rendering because it's actually will take quite a bit time to render but you'll notice it will um, create some images based on my string that i put it in okay so overall here's a overview a little bit on interfaces so far i will say that um, mid journey it's a winner for um, definitely winner to for our interface and everything. So it is the best way to go. Second one is probably will be DALI 2. And you'll have some primitive interface here. Very basic, not primitive, sorry. Basic interface. You'll have it in DALI 2. And of course, the two other ones, they're kind of uh, fighting because one, you will have it a uh, simple discord with a lot of stuff going on a little bit hard to access or another one so you can have it your own interface but you can run only one image at a time and it's very um hard to sometimes to go with all the settings it's overwhelming most correct probably word overwhelming so let's go ahead right now we'll look on the prompts text prompts so in as text prompt going I did run some prompt before to save on a time and I'm just will going through this prompt inside um, the DALI 2 will go compare to mid journey will going to compare to the uh, stable diffusion and will compare some of them to the uh, disco diffusion however disco diffusion not all was comparable because it will take sometimes quite a bit time to render and uh, you will see the different I will show you the strong ports a portion of this and some weakness. okay let's go ahead and first you can see right here with DALI E 
uh, we render and this is hard to see what it is but you can read it is about 100,000 robots fighting in forest H. I. Ginger and if you're not familiar with this artist he did um, concept art like for the alien movie and other things ultra bar uh, high detail photorealistic art tray station training this is options is very useful if you work with uh, mid journey but i did not find anything that related inside the dali 2. the reason is i think it's a reference if you're not familiar how the engine work you can see like right here you begin with a, a simple purring noise and after this have it cycles when it start ai kind of comparing like, you know, artists going eyes and compared to some other arts based on text, does it look like that? And so on. I think what with DALI 2, it is using some other one access. And the Mid Journey will reference like art station, what is popular there. Does it look more like that style? So it's a little bit different. And I don't think it's it's actually useful inside the DALI 2. But overall, you can see the images right here we created. Um, Honestly, I'm very disappointed with what it did because it does not look like a kind of robot. It's a messy. You can, if I don't tell you it is robots, you look on this and you don't know what these armors look like steel or something. So you will not uh, see what it is. Just in comparison, what Mid Journey does with exactly the same string, you can see right here we have, um, let's go check. Okay, so let's go ahead and check what we our dream our the stable fusion can does okay we're going right here we'll go switch let's go down to this and it also did not bad job it is not exactly style does not look like paint uh, was but it is keeping actual identify style is abstract and notice what's happening i did use it the uh, name of the abstract artist but i did not specify anywhere it is abstract art so it's actually very nice to validation how the well going and watch for the style of the artist so it can preview and actually did very good job okay now let's go check on our preview inside the mid journey as well and I mean, Johnny actually, okay, where's my abstract painting? You know what, well, what are we going to do? We'll just go take this name. It's one way to easy to find. We'll go there and just type this name. So we'll go ahead and find what R does. And this is actually done by mid journey. And you can see it did um, perform very well. You can see how paint, it's a little bit different it's probably have access to different art to compare but it is uh, somewhat identifiable and it's abstract however it is not totally in a style in the abstract art from all of them i say dali e perform the best to match styles of the artist in this case versus all those two other ones applications so the next let's go check um it would also portal and from portal is this is end of the uh, the restaurant at <laughs> the end universe actually so this dali e representation and honestly i was real disappointed how it's come up it's horrible it, it just you know um i don't know it's very very bad how it's rendered not realistic at all very bad colors everything um, let's go check what we have with um, this one. Okay, we'll go check what our uh, stable fusion did with this same strings, and you can see some. It's kind of a mess up. It's tried to create something interesting, but it did kind of mess up a little bit. So, but at least it's tried, and sometimes kind of weird because it's just cut two images. Yes, it does not not good as well okay so let's go ahead now and we're going to find uh restaurant let's go check oops and of the unit 
end of the universe if we find here and this one definitely create way more interesting look um, of course I create a little bit more variations in this case but generally you can see all of them was kind of try to blend even on the first one permutation if we look on this it's already you can see burgers kind of tables this is a very nice restaurant uh, more colorful kind of very interesting way how it's put it together so I think in uh, this case, if we look on that, um, it's definitely with the strings, the mid journey produced a little bit better result in this case. Okay, so next let's go look, um, and I have plenty different ones, so we'll go very fast. This is a portal, it did not, uh, does not do very bad job. However, um, stable fusion did a little bit worse job in this case okay right here we can see this stable fusion it's okay but it's almost like kids drawing or very primitive illustrations and um portal i think the mid journey without question did way better job in this case so it's look more interesting more complex and putting in details and of course the resolution does help you know tell you true just to even for representation it's sort of work a little bit better that way um we have it also the cyberpunk street this is done from Dali 2 and you can see it's not bad again my huge huge disappointment it's amount of details it's look very very simplistic no details small details nothing it's just very primitive like a rough concept art that's what I will say very basic um, which is okay at least the representation coloring and other stuff going on then when we look in um okay right here you can see this one's done a little bit better job and actually they do way yeah i think this is way better than dali 2 the stable fusion and the best thing is because this is 124 but if you're going to upscale even to the uh stable uh stable fusion you go to upscale to dali Two resolution because this is 1024 let's go open this one you can see how much details here and this is what i was expecting i was honestly expecting from dali 2 to produce at least this amount small details all that stuff and i was really really disappointed um on dali e2 how much details is putting in it's very um primitive creating for me so this one and of course if we're going to cyberpunk okay let's go cyberpunk on the mid journey uh, let's scroll right here i think this is some other ones nope it will be on the bottom this ones so you can see amount of here it is way more interesting to create it same string but you can see how much details sometimes honestly i think the mid journey have too much details so i need actually using light version and you can do this with you can actually specify how much details but right here you can see the it is trying it's more as i'm using in the backdrops for my work this is just look amount of kind of teeny tiny details almost as going you know overlap and compare again with dali that is um very blocky like almost no details very very primitive concept art style just uh, maybe you need to have it about uh, three four more steps in detailizations before you do that okay um this one probably will be the most disappointing to me when i did it because i put it i want sand man portrait um with a sand twirl around all the stuff and i specify this gun specifically for dolly to string so i was trying to descriptive all the stuff and it's kind of tried to then see man you see the swirling so you see all of this inside and but i don't see actually the style gender but okay i can see some of those elements so and if i'm looking um that is okay but if we're going with a stable fusion on that one and the stable fusion did produce but it's produced in okay where are you I think it's something below maybe um it did produce yeah 
it's another area, way worse. So stable fusion produces worseness. And you know what we can do as I'm speaking, let me do this way. So I'm going to copy this string. We'll go stable fusion because it's already, we'll go dream about this. Okay. And we'll render four versions so we can compare with the, what we have before. And till it's rendering, let's go ahead and look how it did perform with our mid journey. Send man. Let's go look on the send. Yeah, we don't sending. Send man. There you go. And definitely mid journey did way better. So it's a look at this. It's a beautiful. We have it style, in general. We have it all the swirls. We have it. Look on this Sandman coming up. So definitely the style and all these words is applied way better in translation here. So there you go. This is our kind of Sandman. Of course, we did mess up with face, but I want to be sure. Here you got a style here, and I want to be sure it's a sand twirl around. You can see how it's work. I think this is produced very well. Okay, so let's go back to check what is our this produce and we'll jump in and you can see it. I'm sorry, but this is so premium. It's just compare seriously, just compare this art and to this. Okay. It, you cannot, I mean, it definitely need a rework or compare this, what we put on the string word with this. Okay. So it's, does not perform something it does good something it doesn't and again it's all based on what you train what is in the train it's why same string same text prompt can be totally different and all is different and uh, of course the one thing what i did it it's uploaded new uh the image this original so i process i uploaded this one and it's a permutation was creating one thing i need to say dolly did the best job because other ones don't allow you to upload images or if you're using you can actually can use images with um the mid journey but it is using them differently so it resulted not even come closer to what you see here and overall this is what i want kind of showing you a little bit about my test run with test strings see which one perform what and this has helped me to identify strings of each AI generation. And that is a based on what library they train to, how they can perform. And I found out that DALI 2, probably the best to create photorealistic look. Okay. Um, they're not so good on some illustrations or concept. They're very well in some areas with a classic art they can go and follow through. However, they have problems with detailizations in some cases. So I will need to play a little bit more with the words in the to say it. It's kind of need to define how the engine will take and uh, disassemble my string of the words and try to work with this. But general, that is what DALI 2 is string is. Uh, Mid journey have a big string with the creating all of this cool illustrations, nice look. And sometimes you may get lucky to create a nice looking face, you know, it's still be, and it's portraits, it's incredibly increased. For example, um, when I did a lot of portraits and you know what, let me find if I have scrolled down a little bit fast and you can see, by the way, this is all publicly access. So you can actually go and access and see my experiments with a mid journey. And I'll need it to re-enable something with other stuff, but okay, let me scroll down. Okay, but you can see also Mid Journey did improve quite a bit with the portrait creations. So it does have some realistic portraits. You can create all the stuff. Um, it's still be in more going towards illustration type, but it is the symmetrical, the much improvement than before. If you have the first version, you remember the eyes was horrible and all the stuff. So it does produce this. So they all have their own strings. Um, with the stable fusion, the big plus it is, it will be eventually the open source. So you can run on your own home GPU and you can achieve. Some is coming very, um, definitely 
have problems to render. Some is real impressive what it does. Like for example, this one, I'm really impressed how well this one was done. Okay, so something very nice. They also do very nice illustration and so on. So it's have a very powerful application. And I say it's a more adjustment, everything, but as creation, it's may catch up with the mid journey and mid journey definitely creating more towards concept artist, a concept art. It's towards illustrations, towards all this very beautiful fantasy sci-fi looking. I mean, they have it all their own things and. Um, depend probably what you're looking for you may be going address to those specific uh engines that ai what you want to use it thank you for watching this video and if you find useful please give a thumbs up if you find not useful two thumbs up okay so i'll know uh please subscribe click on this button notification so it's helped me to know if you like this video if you want to see more video like this i do preparing uh specific videos about going with a prompt optimizations and other stuff for specifically mid journey and because you'll notice how the same prompt work differently on different engines so you kind of need almost polish and kind of um adjust position of the words so it's get the best out of the specific area so i will have this video going with a prompt about mid journey how to use it there and um, also let people know if you like this video if you have questions please post let me know thank you for watching Okay, so right here it's mid journey. We can preview singles. Let's go switch to the little bit um, size. And one thing, uh, keep in mind that Dolly is 1024 by 1024, the maximum size. If you want larger size, you need to use a different application to upscale this. For example, I use a Gigapixel from Topaz. And here you can have it already bigger. You can see right there we have a bigger size just on the width and the height it's 124. So we can go about uh, 2048 by 2048 maximum. Um, as we compare style these ones versus Dali, and let's compare here. This is our Dali uh, style and this is our the majority and you can see definitely you can see this alien effect. It's look like aliens. And you definitely can recognize robots and creating and text was again robots fighting in a forest. So let's go again to our Dali and you can kind of see forest, but I think it's very abstract, not as a clean. Um, I maybe uh, need to tweak more with the strings of the text inside Dali and I found out between all of those different type of the service, you actually needed a little bit specify more work with the strings it's meaning where you place it what words it does matter it's how it translated ai in the end when they take the string they cut the parts and they start reassigning to those zones to um how it's tried to render or access and similar anyway we won't go on technical but point is this uh, composition of the strings is important for the ai and it's kind of preferred in its own way but general overall right here even with the strings you can see it is definitely look much better more up to style that i specify in what it is in mid journey than in dali so let's go right now look on a stable fusion and stable fusion will go access and it's actually not bad at all so if we look on the original a bit bigger, you can see it's created somewhat force. It's very stylized and actually it is stylized in the way the artist does. If you see his work before and here, just example, this is work. You can see um, stylizations actually how it's done. So if we look on the stylizations and we're going back to this, you can see it's very actually done. Not bad at all with his stylizations um this is again done with um stable diffusion and there's a little bit more let's go click on and jump to the preview so this is four images preview and you can see this is stylizations definitely it's look not bad in this case um i do prefer photorealism a little bit more what was done with um done with a mid journey but again it is as a art installation it's not bad at all 
and let's go and uh, when I put it in the disk diffusion it's still processing some maybe later kind of going over this but right now we just compare there we render them okay let's go next we're going compare to the um, painting and this is what specifically I was looking for perfect storm large wave and I wrote this for um, Dali specifically but notice right here when you write it is perfect storm large wave heavy stormy clouds struggling ships all the stuff rocky cliff this is description I put it but right there Ivan Novazovsky so this is the guy who drew in uh, Russia he did all of this painting beautiful painting of the oceans and I want to be sure it's kind of put his name and says what style I want to use so just to compare this is his art oil painting and you can see the kind of water ocean he did a lot of this kind of seascapes and other stuff um, so this is put it in also applied I want to be sure it's oil painting high details realistic it did a little bit better job okay it's kind of more you can define waves I think it still be kind of very low resolution I'm seriously disappointed with details I was expecting from Dali 2 to produce much better details effect okay and so far when I was testing this they actually was almost going down below even uh well below stable diffusion I mean and seriously was disappointed um now let's go see what we have with our profile here let's go to home and we'll look on ocean this is example was rendered by um the mid journey and you can see on small already how much details of course to be fair I was doing four by um, the square it's what disk diffusion can do which is about same but you can see right here this is the uh, render a little bit larger resolution and we can go <laughs> higher than in disk diffusion but even on that size you can see amount of details you can see all of this sometimes actually I need to reduce details when I do with the mid journey because it's produced too much but we have a beautiful grain we have all these details apply and waves look way better inside however one thing I need to tell Dali when they did the waves I think it will be like right here we have an interesting glowing and somewhat translucent a little bit like on this cloud so it's it does it's not bad but of course compare and it's personal taste but compared to this I think this is look a little bit more to me as a painting with higher details than other ones options um, and let's right now just compare to our stable diffusion and let me scroll down find where it was created and we'll come back we'll look on all of this that I was render some of them interesting okay and where's my where where ocean right here there you go so we'll go jump to this one and to the ocean you can see this one actually probably produced the worst of all uh, because it's almost like very smudgy um, does not the translucent on the waves is kind of nice with lighting but it's uh, very smudge very does not not clean very muddy look uh, just example I did this process with a disco diffusion and here where disco diffusion come up with you can see this is nice beautiful details actually like in disco diffusion and I'm sure if I tweak a little bit more with the settings I probably can produce even better but general look on a quality of details it's nice crisp um, well done so this is a disco diffusion processing but this one disco diffusion it took me about um, hour or so on to produce how say it is a little bit different longer running so overall I will say again mid journey probably will have it number one for me place next it will be the disk diffusion and after this Dali 2 because a little bit more details and the stable diffusion will be number four so again it's for me personally least on the keeping on styles the one thing I noticed that uh, from all of them disco diffuse uh, the mid journey it's one of the better one 
for sterilizations, how it's performed and everything does. So this one, again, I was testing only on a three skip disco diffusion. It was a beautiful dark magician girl. And actually interesting because the other ones come up very similar look, except for the Dali 2. Dali 2 give me this darker kind of interesting. It's not bad. It's interesting look image. Okay, creating this one. And if we look, for example, on stable diffusion, and you maybe saw already some of purplish kind of pop up. Where are you? Let's go scroll down. So right here, this one, let's go jump. And this one is for the stable diffusion. They're not bad. Sometimes they cut head off, you know, um, you'll need specify, but it definitely looks a little bit more recognizable, more, it's somewhat cartoonish. -y. But if we look, it's a beautiful dark magician girl, full body, ultra detail. So it's kind of going more anime style, I think, with a stable diffusion. Um, if we look with a mid journey, mid journey did more interesting. Again, it's same somewhat style was which kind of interesting. But if we look on details, it does produce very nice high details. But it is we have a big problem with mid journey again, and they did improve quite a bit on the portraits and other things, but I did find it's still messing up on the figurines. And you can see right here, it's a big mess with the head and everything. Overall look okay, but we have a huge mess on the middle with the face. Um, but I do like amount of details. It's tried to put it in. Again, to compare with Dali, we can see it's different styles, but it does look very interesting. Again, a little bit mess up on the fails here. This is too blurry, kind of look very weird. And the same problem we have a little bit with the face. Okay, so next one I want to compare. It is, I want to just have a realistic portrait of an old man, short beard, very messy hair, sitting on a <laughs> I want a couch. Okay, misspelled. So we'll see. But it is pick up that, which kind of very interesting to see how AI will translate misspelling on TV. Crushed pop cans, pizza, volumetric lights, high resolution, very high details. And actually, Dali did a very good job. You can see right here we have it sitting, somewhat looking on old man. I did still a little bit disappoint with. How realistic details is not come up. I was expecting from Dali to have it way better details. And it's again, it's probably I need to spend more time to learn uh, more about Dali to what is used and all this other stuff. Because this is just a prompt, type in prompt and see what's going on. Okay. So in this this one, let's go right now check um the our mid journey and you can see mid journey produce quite a bit details to the point I says, okay, well, how about, about I make this a little bit bigger because other ones 1024. So right here I made one that is actually 1024 by 1024. And you can see on details, it is look a little bit more kind of illustrated, but um, we miss some details. We do have it in main. We do have some crush pizza box and other ones. But I want to look just on the portrait in this case, and you can see it is actually not bad. It's very interesting, messy hair. It's pick up the short beard. So it did pick up some stuff. Um, of course, we have some messing up going on with the eyes. But you know, who the, all the guys does not mess with eyes. Just look at me. Um, problem with Dali E, I've, oh, not Dali E, sorry. Problem with Mid Journey, I find many times when you do portrait, it's like to stick another set of eyes or mouth in another area to make little mutants. So right here, I think you know, what's happened with the neck, we have like almost second beard growing or something going on there. Okay, so that is with this. And let's go look on a stable fusion, see what we have it with the old guys. And you probably saw when I was scrolling down, we have some of this. Um, okay, and right there, let's go look. And this one actually, produce quite a bit good result. I think it's the best result almost from all of them. Okay, where am I? I think I just click jump, but something is overriding my jump. Okay, let's go back to find our old guys. Jump to our settings right here. There you go. So and you can see they're actually not bad how it's created. It is photorealistic. There we have it even pizza with crushed cans. 
I don't know who want to eat this, but it's here. And it did actually a very good job on this. So from all of them, even other ones in um, our mid journey, it's kind of nice illustrations. But if we're going for the realism, um, stable diffusion definitely did a better job on this than other ones. And uh, let's go look what we have with our disco diffusion. And this is for the same string what we have it. I think this is misinterpreted. Instead, crush it can, it's make crushing face. Um, but we at least have a bunch of boxes on the back with some maybe pizza. So it it does kind of going over messy hair, all the stuff, but it did not crush parts that I want them crushing. Okay, so that is another one. So let's go now back to start again with Dali 2 and look what else we have it. A um, couple of other things that I rendered just with those two, well, oh, sorry, with three, because how fast it can produce versus what we can do with uh, um, Disco Diffusion, because Disco Diffusion has taken a long time to render and uh, they do produce in some cases very close results to the um, also stable diffusion in this case. Okay, so right here, this is kind of very interesting before we jump to this, let me show what my goal was to do and we're going to let's go scroll down where is my request no nope, we'll go back to this request there you go this is my request so if we look here i want to do the beautiful landscape the ghibli kind of ways and you can see it's actually recognized not bad so it did somewhat look like a cartoonish animation so it's keep it in the right style in this case so it did not bad at all uh, let's look what we have with our mid journey and you notice out here i think mid journey did the best job of look on these details what we have here produce very nicely done Jose. uh one thing i find when you do like this animation sometimes what mid journey does is make those floating leaves or trees in the air just put them around don't necessarily very clean but general overall it is actually does very good job very good to stylizations in everything um dali did very good as the uh, not stylizations as general so it is says beautiful landscape wide angle all the stuff but it did ignore this so it did ignore some reference to us and creating photorealistic look areas okay and if they're not bad they're actually done very good if somebody show me this and i'll say oh it's just a photo somebody take digital or whatever camera went and take a photo i will never suspect this is actually rendered by the computer so it's done that well but it is not a precisely what i was asking for because if we look right here it did ignore this for me okay so again it's probably what is database reference going inside there um, another one, so let's go look now on the monster foods and monster food. It's kind of very funny. So let's go see if I can find monster foods here. I created, okay, right here. Yeah. Let's go jump. So this is very simple things, kind of fun to do. You just says fast food monsters. Okay. And you'll see what's come. You can see right here, we have it, some uh, illustrations and nice things about the stable fusion let's try to go both ways so it's try to give me provide hey do you want realism or you want some illustrations type and it does produce some fun stuff interesting look um, Dali E will do somewhat similar and you can see some illustration I don't think they're so happy they kind of hardly look like a monster so this one may be going like a monster uh, I like this one <laughs> this is very funny this with eating monster but it's kind of like kids drying so to Dali to make a little bit more I need specify photorealistic and then it's kind of create a little bit more as a monster smash so it still look very very interesting um, and you can probably use in some areas this however definitely the winner is um will be mid journey so fast food monster okay let's type in and you can see how beautiful this is done so this is you almost can't print 
and put them down. They've done a beautiful, beautiful job to creating fast food monsters here. So, and it's many other ones I create. And uh, sometimes the problem is uh, I start creating and I see it's come up so good. I just cannot stay, uh, stop and I'll just make more and more of them because they just actually look how it's rendered. It's look very, very nice. I mean, it's a real look like it's a monsters can be fast food monsters, all this stuff. And again, it's a simplicity of the string, but you can see how AI can extrapolate from this and create base it on this, all these fast food monsters. Most time, this is how it's created. It will relate it to how the AI is trained and train is mean. What does a reference in the using to access what libraries it's using? Because as an artist, let's say this, if I ask you to draw landscape for me, if you only live in the mountains, you never, never in your life to see the uh, ocean or park, for example, um, some jungle you will never see in your life. So in your pictures, you will missing this. So you won't have any landscape of the jungles because you just don't know them. Uh, same things with AI, actually, when it's creating and using these databases of images, public images or different libraries to access as a comparison to see, does it look like this? And if it's a limited access, it's one create to this way. And I feel um, it is actually a problem with DALI. It's a access to specific areas, not to other, to all of them. So the next what I want to do, it is going can fast food is fine. Let's look how it can perform kids drawing. And this is my first kids drawing of alien monsters um, attacking color drawing. I want to be sure it's a crayon style photorealistic. And this actually done a very good job, Dali. So it's look like a kid's drawing, which is actually not hard to do in this case, but it is um, you can look on this as yeah, kids can draw. So it's actually very accurate nicely. If we're going and check what we done with the uh, um okay let's go right here i think this one yeah um this one done with a stable fusion diffusion and you can see it does look some of them again variations that look not bad i do like this one come up and it does look somewhat people may draw a little bit different uh, drawing but again it's not bad it's acceptable very in a nice way so it's very good done um, if we look in the, okay, let me remove this one. And I, if we look, what is the mid journey did? Okay, did I clear up this stuff? Okay, let me reload it and be sure we have proper things. You can see right here, it's actually render not bad. I think I prefer mid journey render better on a uh, drawing. Okay, and a, I think I have it a little bit more. Let me go pull up yep, right here. See, I was playing a little bit before even, and you can see right there. It's a very nice, nice color. It's maybe not the kids level. I think there's a little bit <laughs> more than kids can draw, but it's still, it's very nice color line stylizations, very beautifully done. And overall it is um, very nice. So from all I think personally, I like style on uh, mid journey just because this but i don't think it's actually kids drawing the dali e performed very well as a kids drawing so is um the stable fusion but as the description kids drawing alien monsters i think dali e did a better job to stay to the text what was required okay and as a drawing i'm saying okay let's how about this how about we creating just put it creating on the universe, but I want to do in the abstract. So this is names of the artist who does the abstract art and they're doing by the dripping. It's kind of very interesting techniques what they're doing, but it is abstract painting with it. And uh, this is mid uh, the Dali to perform. And you can see that actually, if you compare to artist style, they are actually done very accurate and look very, very nice. The, my only wish it was higher resolution. So actually I can print and put it on a wall. That will be nice. Um, 